Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Just to build on the point of my colleague, uh, it's really outrageous that we would deb be debating this amendment when um, the Senate Armed Services Committee considers approximately 50,000 nominations each year for civilian and military officials in the Department of Defense, Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, and Space Force. Military promotions are often quickly approved in the Senate by unanimous consent. However, as we have seen, one senator's objection can stall the entire approval process and stall operations for our service members and military leadership. Since March, Senator Tommy Tuberville has been holding up military promotions in an effort to promote his own political agenda and force his views on our military personnel. Currently, over 250 promotions are halted. By the end of the year, that number can grow to 650. So while my colleagues may want to speak about how drag shows and wokeism that they can't even define disrupt mi military re readiness, a senator from their party is holding up hundreds of crucial military promotions. Give me a break. You want to talk about uh, what's right and protecting our national security? Talk to the senator over in the other chamber and ask him why he's holding up highly qualified nominations who are about protecting our national defense. You want to talk about diversity, equity, inclusion? Ask him why those candidates who are women, people of color, and highly qualified candidates who have served in our military are being held up because of that uh, person's political agenda.